Hi, everyone. It is Carol from Lily Rose Blue. How are you? I am doing just fine. Um, for those of you who may have heard me complain, um, I did a colonoscopy last week and um, I got the results back today and it looks like everything is good. But I do have to go back and do it in three years instead of five. I guess, you know, better to be safe than sorry, right? Uh-oh, that's what fell over. Uh-oh. Guys, the twins have, or the triplets are missing. I'm going to have to um, really look. I found their corral. Oh, here, here's Angel. Oh, man. They tried to get away. And raise your hand if you're surprised that it's the girl that behaved. Okay. I don't... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This happens way too often. Okay. I am <clears throat> going to have to have my husband, who is a better hunter than me, um, go look for them. So, here is Amber. Astrid, Arnold, and Angel. Um, Adam and Asa are missing in action. Okay, Suzanne, um, they may not realize that it's winter time in Australia and that they'd be better off staying here, but maybe it's just too gosh darn hot here for them. Who knows? So, Suzanne, be aware. Keep your eyes open. Uh, this is the pro I've cleaned my desk. It's about as clean as it ever gets. I am sourcing for a journal. Um, but honestly, it's not it's not too bad in here. I don't know how I knocked them over. I really don't. And just first glance, I am not seeing either one of the boys. Anyway, moving on. Sorry about that. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. I hope you are doing well. Um, I have for you a hashtag bolo or be on the lookout for um, this book called Accessorize Your Home. And it is by Caroline Clifton hyphen Mogg, M-O-G-G. -G. It's about that thick. That's what it looks like on the back. So I am sourcing for a journal and I'm kind of sourcing by color. Um, because I'm going to be turning this in to a journal. So I do kind of want to follow the color pattern here, right? So I'm, I'm looking for accessories for that. And I'm meeting with hmm, moderate success. Anyway, here is this book, and I started to look through it looking for things for that journal and oh my gosh this is a gorgeous book gorgeous book gorgeous book and I I think whoops sorry my preference sorry guys I bumped it I've got my phone plugged in it's never easy to do a video when I'm doing that, but I needed to. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I can take this apart. I might 
deconstruct it and put it back together because it is wow so this is I'm sorry one second ISBN 978-1-84597-841-9. It was first published in the U.S. in 2009. So yes, I think it is British to start with. What gave me that? Something gave me that thought that it was... Oh, London and New York. Ryland, Peters, and Small is the publisher. Um, I I don't want to get be too far away, but I also don't want to be too close. Let me see if I can get you any closer. There we go. We'll try that. We'll try that. So every page of this is just gorgeous. Look at these textiles. That couch or um, cushion. I love dishes. Man, this, this page makes me super, super happy. I love it. Look at the cow picture. Look at these cute teacups and hydrangeas. These look like hydrangeas, but they're red. Look at those candlesticks, just fun. Mercury glass, just beautiful. Um, probably vintage vase. Look at this, the white and the green. Oh my gosh, and the old stove. Oh, what do they call these in England? Augers, I think, right? I think that's what they call them. Sorry, I had to get a look at those pictures up there, enamelware pictures. This is just page after page of loveliness. I like how their headboard is kind of leafy like not leaves per not leaves per se but it gives you that idea of stalks or whatever and then they have all those leaf prints. I like that. Very pretty color. Then look at all these different size frames with art in them. Gorgeous. I like the shade of blue of the wall, too. There's some textile fashion ladies. And in that fun, you have a print, and then you have a pillow in that same, you know, to match your art on the wall. Very cool. Very cool. So this is how to display photographs. And then this one is the magic of mirrors. I am always on the lookout for mirrors like this. I have yet to find one out in the wild. Um, but hey, you just never know. That's really pretty too. These are, oh yeah, these are all just gorgeous. And look at that um, vent cover, the iron vent cover. A library, you got the Union Jack, flowers and plants, just gorgeous, sweet peas, lilacs, hydrangea, it's a really pretty chair, gladiolas, I think I've shared with you guys that was one of my mom's favorite flowers. And there's uh, iris. I think those look like roses. Very pretty. Oh, very pretty. Just unique. I don't know if this is a ancestor or just a cool print that the person found. 
I like this when they put those in a, the enamel pictures and enamel wear. Gorgeous. Okay, here you have your cushions and throws. Very pretty. And I love that, this one, that print. Bedding, of course. All white bedroom. That's pretty too. China and glass. Here we go. That's my jam, guys. Oh, look at all of those different candlesticks. I love that. A large collection of tall glass candlesticks. Few of them matching, almost fills the dining table. The candles themselves in different shades of red, pink, and ivory are an integral part of the overall look. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wouldn't that be pretty at like a vintage wedding? And then you've got some other less candelabra candlesticks. Oh, I, mm-hmm, yep. Loving that. Oh, and look. That reminds me of um, children's stories, you know, where they're holding a candle because they've gotten out of bed. Mm. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Ceramics. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to read, read this, actually read this book. I, I, I found it on my bookshelf, guys, and opened it up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at these bowls. And then look at the tablecloth. Uh-huh. Right up my alley, and so is this cupboard. Oh man, is that gorgeous. And you know, just look at plates and how artistic they can be. I watch, and I've shared this with you, a channel of a lady who lives in southern, the south of France, I think is how you say it. And um, her channel is called Antiques and Brocante, or Brocante. I'm not sure exactly how to how to say it. B-R-O-C-A-N-T-E, and that means flea markets. And, of course, France is a much older country than the U.S., and just some of the stuff she finds is just, it is just like eye candy. It is absolutely like eye candy when you watch those videos. And it's Antiques and Brocante or Brocante, B-R-O-C-A-N-T-E. I think I've shared that before, but if not, I'll do a hashtag love a little channel. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at those colanders hanging there like that. So cool. Oh man. This kind of reminds me a little bit of farmhouse style. If I were to redo my, be able to redo my house, which I won't, this is the, this is what I would do. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Living. Okay. Look how they did that fireplace. And that's gorgeous with that. Mm-hmm. Mantle. Very cool. Yeah. And the imagery around that. Love that picture. Wow. Look at that mirror. Oh, my goodness. Just fun. And look at that mantle. Oh, and that blanket. 
and I like the pillow too. And this is Queen's Anne, Queen Anne's Lace, or it could also be dill. Oh, I love the smell of dill out in the outside. My neighbor has some dill planted, and when it's blooming, it is just, mm. I love it. Excuse me. That's unique. Oh, look at that doorway. Oh, my gosh. That'd be fun, guys. We could put all of our junk journaling stuff. Uh-huh. Look. We could. There's all your books. There's your, there's your cabinet for other storage. Yep. I'm liking that. Oh, that's a pretty vase. Vases, and I like that lamp as well. Oh, look. It's a plate and a big cup turned upside down that was made into a, into a lamp or a light fixture, I should say. Oh, pretty, pretty. Look at that mirror. I like the material on that chair. Oh, and you notice that that material is on that pillow. Just to tie it all in. Wow. Look at that lampshade. Decorative objects and collections. And look, they've wrapped something in music paper. That's a cool idea. Teapots. Look at those handheld mirrors. Oh, wow. That's super cool. And how they turned some out and turned some towards the wall. That's a fantastic idea. I'm not a fan of the hands and that kind of thing, but look at the mercury glass and that cabinet and the textiles and this wooden bowl. Love it all. Mm-hmm. And look, the numbers here and the, yes, fun, fun. Look at all these textiles. Oh. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You see why I just don't feel like I can cut this book up? <gasps> look. A vast collection of antique porcelain terrines has been arranged in the simplest of styles so that each different design can be appreciated in individual isolation. Oh my goodness. Aren't those gorgeous? Look at these old platters. That's cool too. There's some old tins. Those, those hats. Yes, old hat molds. Okay, gotcha. Kind of sounds like it's raining outside. Oh my gosh. Look at that pink enamel. And look at these bowls. And these teacups. Oh, those cups. The tureen dishes. Oh my gosh. Love it. The old clock. Look at that dog figurines in the silhouette. Tablescapes. Wow. Oh, what kind of dress forms they've got on the wall there. Mm, that's pretty. Very pretty. Shells. It's a boat. Some oars. Look at that guy. That looks like my Finnegan dog, neighbor dog, who's moving. He's living at Grandpa's house right now, a few blocks away, and then they're probably moving into their new house about five hours away. Oh, in the middle of September. I am going to miss my Finnegan. He's a good boy. And I spoil him rotten, and he knows it. 
I spoil dogs and cats and ant horses and other animals and birds and kids. I love it. I love to do that. So again, this is Accessorize Your Home, Caroline Clifton hyphen Mog, M-O-G-G. -G. Um, this is a Be On The Lookout book. And I will also do a hashtag for, um, if I can get it to come up, Antiques and Brocante, or Brocante. Um, just I love a little channel as well. All right, you guys, you take care. Please take care. Stay safe. Have some fun. Please have some fun. Enjoy life. Enjoy the little things because sometimes the little things become the big things, right? And take care. Thank you for coming back. If you have watched my channel before, if you're new, thank you for joining us. Um, hit like, hit subscribe if you have not yet, and please comment. I love to read your comments. You guys take care again, and thank you so much for being here, and God bless. Bye-bye.